Hey everybody, welcome back to the Infinite Regression. Oh man, look at how infinite and regressy it is. Today we're going to review another Steam game. Uh, this time it's going to be Roof Rage. Now, uh, Roof Rage is an excellent little fighting game. Comes to us from Early Melon. Uh, and it often, very often, frequently goes on sale uh, for a price so low, so very affordable, that uh, it is hard to not pick it up, quite honestly. So, what is this little game? Well, it's a joy and it's a delight. Um, if you, like me, came up in the ways of the early Street Fighter games, that, that Street Fighter 2 the Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the Street Fighter 2 Turbo Championship Edition, you know, your Mortal Kombat's, your Mortal Kombat's 2, 3, etc. Um, yeah. Then you know about the, the joy of fighting games. But fighting games, like, who? Oh, a lot of fighting games lately, it seems like they are geared toward the pros who play them. Uh, people who play them for big money in big time tournaments who are much, much, much better at them than I am. And so here's the beauty of Roof Rage, is it's a 2D fighting game that has very simple controls, and yet there are still a ton of combos, a ton of unique moves for the how many unlockable characters? So many unlockable characters. Hold up, let me count them up. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Uh, and then there's an unlockable boss guy. Uh, I think you start with twelve and then you unlock the thirteenth, the secret hidden boss. Um, anyway, the beauty of this game is that it is very often very cheap. And it has a uh, local PvP, and it has online PvP that you can play against your Steam friends if they're in the same room or if they are somewhere else in the world. You can find them. Also, you can join random games and whatnot. Uh, the online function of this works uh, pretty darn well for a game at this price point and a game uh, like this. Now, I will tell you the obvious things. Uh, first of all, you know, you're gonna see uh, jumping off of ledges. I will accidentally fall off a ledge. By the way, all game footage uh, that you are seeing right now was captured as my son and I were battling each other. This is a game that we play together occasionally. Um, there was a time when we first got it, we were playing it a whole bunch uh, against each other. And then, you know, we would see each other like practicing up and be like, oh, oh, it's like that, is it? You're getting ready, huh? And so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he can beat me pretty well at it, by the way. And, and did, in fact, um, on some of those rounds. So, yeah. It was uh, pretty solid, even though we haven't picked this up in a while. And that's the other thing about it, is that, you know, if you're not a person who is constantly playing your 2D fighters, um, you're not going to remember all of the special moves, you're not going to remember all the crazy combos, you know, the back-back, mid-punch, high-punch, kick, back-step, twist, turn, bop it, pull it, twist it, ow. Uh, you're not going to remember all of the little things that you have to do to get the combo that you need um, in some of the more complex games. This one is just a couple of buttons that are all you need to know. And so all of the special moves for all of the characters use the same button combinations. It's just they're different moves that move in different directions and do different things like you've got a character who is uh suspiciously like ryu yeah that's how old i am we called him ryu uh because ryu like we didn't yeah we didn't know we did not know and so we called him ryu 
for, you know, 15 years before anyone corrected us. So, yeah, sorry that that's baked in at this point. Uh, but anyway, he's suspiciously like Ryu from Street Fighter. Suspiciously. With his, uh, you know, uppercut and his Hadouken sort of a power. Uh, yeah, very, very similar. There's also a sumo wrestler. Yeah, so you might be seeing some similarities. But there are also a number of differences and a number of characters that have some really interesting uh, and unique powers. There's a dude who just straight up has a gun, uh, which you would think in a martial arts competition would automatically win. But, you know, he still has to fight it out just like anybody else. But, yeah. There, there are a lot of fun wrinkles to this game, and there are a lot of, um, you know, if you get really good at a character, uh, then you can really start doing some damage and taking people out. There are characters that will play to whatever your play style happens to be. I like Thyla. She's got the big, uh, you know, heavy hammer. She's basically a female Thor. And uh, she can call down lightning, and she does this uh, crazy twisty move that can just send, just launch your opponent. And that's really fun. I like to do that. It's awesome. Uh, very satisfying. Also, yeah, here's the fun thing about it. The inputs on this game are so tight. Even in online play, like, it will figure out you know, what the discrepancy is uh, between you and your opponent, and it will level it out uh, just like you would need it to so that it is an actual fair fight between the two of you, uh, and you're both able to input your buttons and have them do exactly what they're supposed to do in the instance in which they're supposed to do it. And that is awesome. Like, they absolutely nailed that part of the game. And my favorite thing is that, you know, because I'm not always playing fighting games, um, that you can pick it up and put it down. You can get obsessive about it for a week and play it all the time. And then you can put it away for a little bit. And um, there's really good level design and, and all of that. But more than anything it's the unique characters the unique play styles uh it just it, it mixes things up now granted i know if you're playing something like brawlhalla uh for example you know you might have a bajillion more character unlockables if you're playing you know smash bros there's a bajillion more characters uh, this game is limited to the 12 that you start with and the 13th unlockable. That is what it is limited to. But guess what? That's fine. Like, I'm not that guy who is looking for a million unlockables in my fighting game. Don't need it, don't want it. Like, I would much rather have, you know, old school Street Fighter style, you know, 10 characters that I know very well rather than, you know, 57, um, only three of which I actually know, you know? Uh, so I think that even this game's limitations are for me exactly what I need in a fighting game of this type. Um, anyway, I find it utterly delightful. It's always super fun to pick up and put down. Uh, very fun to play against your friends. And very easy to set up a game. And uh, to get yourself into a game with somebody else and up and playing. Good, good times. Good stuff. You know, my son and I hadn't played this in like, I don't know, like six months or something. And picked it up like we just hadn't uh, left off at all. Anyway, let me put a final score on it, and then we will be done. Okay, so I am going on the Roof Rage. I'm going to give it a 10 out of a possible 10 Hadoukens. What? A perfect score? Yes, exactly. Why? Uh, because I honestly don't think this game could do anything better for me. 
for my needs for a fighting game, this is the perfect one. It is. This is the perfect one for me because I don't sit around like memorizing move sets and whatnot, and and I don't always want to play a fighting game. But when I do, I want to be able to have fun with it, and that's exactly what this game is. So, uh, I highly recommend it. When it goes on sale, it is often as cheap as a dollar forty-nine, which is insane. At that price, buy it for you, buy it for all your friends, hop in online together, and just kick each other in the face. Good times. Anyway, highly recommended this game. I think it's perfect for me. Is it perfect for you? I don't know. Wait till it's on sale, buy it, and find out. Anyway, people, that will do it for this one. I will see you in the next one. Oh. Okay, bye.